Good evening and welcome to this GBC News special weekend update with footage filmed by our duty cameraman, Darren Durante. At the time of filing this report, a total of 41,000 litres of fuel and water have been removed so far from Tank 1 of the stricken vessel OS-35. Meanwhile, divers have discovered the cause of the water ingress into the vessel's engine room. Saturday brought a new challenge for the salvage team working aboard the bulk carrier OS-35. Water ingress was discovered in the vessel's engine room, meaning the ship's power could no longer be relied upon for pumping operations. On Sunday, divers discovered that a manhole had not been totally sealed. This has now been rectified and there's no longer a need for continuous pumping of water out of the engine room. Work to tackle free-floating sheen using a combination of solvents, booms and skimmers continued throughout the weekend. By Sunday afternoon, the drum skimmer had removed at least 5,000 litres of fuel from inside Boom 1 and a second skimmer collected an additional 12,000 litres. The purpose-built catamaran procured from Gaddis is now in Gibraltar and carrying out cleaning operations. Meanwhile, bathing has been allowed in all beaches except Sandy Bay and Little Bay, which have been flying the red flag. The Environment Department discovered that sheen had been carried over the protective boom by tidal patterns in Sandy Bay, and so preventative action was taken. Some oily patches have been found at Gorham's Cave. There are reports of some gulls and Mediterranean shags soiled with oil, but none have been discovered in distress for now. Volunteers, NGOs and the Department of the Environment continue cleanup operations. While salvers expect to be able to remove fuel from the vessel, the fuel tanks will remain dirty. This means that there will be residual quantities of fuel in the tanks and, as a result, continued seepage of small quantities of polluting materials are inevitable. The deployment of booms in layers around the vessel will prevent, to the highest possible level, the amount of seepage into open water, but they will not be able to provide a watertight layer of containment. This situation will therefore now continue for the rest of the summer and until the salvage operation is completed. Meanwhile, an independent investigator appointed by the Gibraltar Maritime Accident Investigation Compliance Officer has been investigating the incident over the weekend. The investigator arrived in Gibraltar on Friday and has been examining evidence that has been provided to him. The sole objective of the investigation is the prevention of future accidents. That's it for the special GBC News update on GBC Television. You can find more coverage on Radio Gibraltar and on gbc.gi.